something I've been saying for a while where I was saying, hey, because, uh, you know, we're so used to the idea of the main character's power being like this special thing. And I kind of like what they did here. And it's like, oh, actually, this quirk not that special. Um, it's just kind of been cooking for a while. Um, and I was going to say, like, yeah, I, uh, I remember I was saying how I think that Todoroki's double quirk of having, like, both his mom and his dad's quirk is more OP than one for all because effectively it got near limitless potential or power output. Whereas one for all, as we starting to see is like, eh, it really ain't get cold into all my, you know what I'm saying? True. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, that's, those are like complete facts. I mean, it's pretty much exactly as you said, it's been cooking. Like, like the first or even like the second or even the third user of one for all was pretty much trash for what we're seeing. So, I mean, but then again, we do also have to remember that the, the it gets more powerful the more that it passes on to a new person. But at the same time, exactly. I mean, quirks in general get more powerful the longer they go. So, like, with that logic, I don't think One for All is ever going to become, like, dumb, overpowered, because I think Quirk's just going to get stronger based on the lore of the universe with this Quirk singularity thing. Because now you, get, you go from having niggas that can just float to niggas that can shoot Endeavor fire and then cool themselves off all in the same movement. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. Bakugo ass niggas that might be able to blow cities up with his hands in the future. Like, for example, if um, Rocket had a kid or whatever, she'd be able to, that kid could potentially be able to, like, lift the whole building or a whole fucking country or some shit. Right? So... That's why I'm like, yeah, uh, uh, one for all getting stronger, but yeah, by the lore of the universe, so is every quirk. So, but this shit kind of effective. To to me, I think that's a little debatable because, like, all you would really need then technically is just for more time to pass and for it to finally reach where a person naturally gets a quirk that could somehow balance just the OPness of one for all's just strength, power, and speed increases, right? Like, mm-hmm. all you would need is, like, I, I don't even, uh, fuck. Like, like, some kind of quirk just be, like, you can endurance, like, any kind of physical stress or something, right? Because then if you could, like, come out the womb, being able to use 100% of one for all, I mean, like, what? I mean, then you pretty much just OP from the jump, right? Right. Or, like, somebody like Ari. I think Ari is a perfect example. Oh, like, yeah. Let her yeah. get trained up. She's there probably going to body one for all no matter what. Like, oh, you super strong? Well, now you don't have a quirk anymore, nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this motherfucker's out there being born as we speak that will probably body all might when they get older, of course. 